Well, the man set to be Senegal's next president, just weeks after having been released from prison, has addressed his country for the first time. Passeru Diamai Fai, whose victory in Sunday's vote sets him up to become the continent's youngest elected head of state, has vowed to tackle corruption and revamp the economy. Sam Bradpiece brings us more from Dakar. In the years leading up to Senegal's presidential election, the country went through an unprecedented period of political unrest. More than 60 people were killed in and around protests, hundreds of political opponents were thrown in jail, and the freedom of the press was seriously impinged. In his first address to the nation, since winning what looks like an absolute majority at the polls, Basiro Jomai Fai, the country's new president-elect, thanked his supporters for their struggle. While I regret the pain and suffering of recent years, the lives that have been shattered and those that have been lost, I would like to acknowledge and salute our people's attachment to democracy, justice and equality. While his critics say that Basiro Jomai Fai is too young, too inexperienced to hold high office, the majority of the Senegalese electorate disagrees. He won support with a radical program which involves pulling Senegal out of the CFA franc currency, boosting local production and renegotiating contracts with international oil and gas companies.